Hello, my name is Derek Baxter and I'm an app developer out of Winnipeg, Canada and I'm going to create this tutorial just to simply show you how to create an iPhone game with a main screen that takes the user to different levels. So this will be the first screen that loads up. The user is going to click on play level one. It's going to take them to the level one gameplay and they can click back. It'll take them back to the main menu. So to do this, I'm going to open up Sprite Builder. If you don't have Sprite Builder, you could Google Sprite Builder and then download it. Pretty simple. So I'm going to go File, New, Project. And I'm going to call this Game. And Sprite Builder will create a folder on my desktop. It'll also create me a front screen for my game. So I'm going to call it My First Game. I'm going to go over here to the objects, drag some buttons here. There we go. So this one will be level one. And instead of watching me type out all three, I'm just going to create one and you can create the other two on your own. If I'm moving too fast, simply press pause and see what I'm doing. So I'm going to go up here into the connections. I'm going to go into selector. I'm going to call this button one. And I'm going to add two dots on there and I'm going to hit enter. So make sure you add the two dots, otherwise it's not going to work. Okay, so what do we want to happen and where do we want to go when this button is pressed? So we want to open up a or create a new scene and we're going to call it level one. So here's our new scene with level one. So I'm just going to drag a label here so we see stuff and I'm going to drag a button. And for this button, I'm going to call it back. There we go. And another connector, because it's a button, I'm going to call it back button. Don't forget to add the two dots. So when this scene loads, it doesn't know that it needs to load a class to basically take over all your gameplay and do the programming backend. So what we want to do is assign a custom class to this. So we're just going to assign the default main scene as the custom class. Now we're pretty much done everything in Sprite Builder. So that was pretty easy. We created two scenes and a couple buttons. So I'm going to click publish. I'm going to click save all. And again, back to that desktop folder and open it up. You're going to open up Xcode project. It's going to open up Xcode and we're going to see our app in Xcode. So the first thing I want to do is open up this dot um, m file and I'm gonna copy and paste here since you don't want to probably load up a YouTube video and watch someone type for 20 minutes so we identify button one button two and back button so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste the commands for those buttons so outside the brackets here so there's the button one here so the ID sender take you to level one button two will take you to level two and back button will take you to main scene and remember this back button is a different scene but because we told it to go and operate off the custom class main scene it'll look for this and it'll load up this main scene so I'm just gonna click run here and as it's compiling we should see the app that we created in Sprite Builder and it'll have all these functions that we just typed in here. So give yourself a second, press pause and uh, type in all that code there. So the simulator is loading up in uh, iPhone 6 simulator and of course it takes a little while for the first simulator to load up and here it goes, loads up the splash screen and then it will load up our gameplay scene. So in our gameplay scene, you'll see that it has my first game and level one. Click in level one, there's my level one gameplay here. Click back, there's my main screen there. So if you like this tutorial, be sure to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and check out our website. We often provide free app source code on our website. So if you're having problems, just send us a little Twitter message or a note. Uh, if we have time, we certainly help you through it. 
And don't forget to subscribe and um, thumbs up this video if it helped you create a game. Thank you.